Now in this part of the question then, we're asked to show that f of x, which equals 3 minus 4 root x all squared, all divided by the square root of x, where x is greater than 0, can be expressed then as f of x equals 9x to the minus half plus ax to the half plus b, where a and b are constants to be found. So how are we going to do this? Well, clearly what we've got to do, judging by this answer, is get everything into powers. So the first thing I would do would be to multiply these brackets out and also to write the square root of x as x to the power half. So we've got 3 minus 4 times the square root of x which is going to be x to the power half multiplied by 3 minus 4x to the power half. And that's all divided by the square root of x here which can be represented as x to the power half. Alright, now let's multiply these brackets out in the usual way. So we've got 3 times 3 which is 9 and then we've got 3 multiplied by minus 4x to the half is going to be minus 12x to the power half. And then we've got another one here, minus 12x to the power half. And then minus 4x to the half times more, minus 4x to the half is going to be plus 16. And then if you add the powers of x, you've got x to the power 1 or just simply x. So that's the top line. And that's all divided by x to the power half. Now then, all we need to do is just group this up on the top. So we've got 9 and we've got minus 12x to the half and another one there. So that's minus 24x to the power half plus the 16x. And that's all divided by x to the power half. Now, judging by this answer here, what we can do, because we've got now three separate terms, all divided by x to the power half, is to put each one over x to the power half. All right, so we just do that. And so that's done. And as you can see, we're nearly at the first term here. Because what we've got to do is just remember that this is 9 times 1 over x to the half. Look, I'll just write this over here to show you. What we've got is 9 over x to the half is exactly the same as 9 times 1 over x to the half. And that is going to be 9 times. And 1 over anything, all you have to do is just make sure you put a negative power. So there you go, 9x to the minus a half. So we've got 9x to the minus a half on this one. Just subtract the powers when you're dividing. So you're going to have minus 24. These two are going to cancel out. x to the power 0, which is 1. So you've got just minus 24. And with this one, we've got x to the power 1 divided by x to the power half. Just subtract the powers and you'll be left with plus 16 x to the power 1 take away a half, which is a half. And if I rearrange this equation here, we've got 9x to the minus a half, but the 16x to the half is the next term, and then minus 24. And you can see this compares now to 9x to the minus a half plus ax to the power half plus b. Notice how I've written the identical sign here. And we can now say where a is clearly the 16 and b is equal to the minus 24. And so that brings us now to the end of this part of the question. And I hope you've been able to follow that.